If you're looking for some new Scandinavian knowledge to throw around at parties, then you've come to the right place. Norway and Denmark, along with Sweden of course, have a long, intertwined history. However, there are some things that make Denmark unique. Today we take a look at our favorite facts about our Scandinavian siblings, Denmark. The white cross on a red background that comprised the Danabrog or Danish cloth is instantly recognizable to many. Originating in the 14th century, legend has it that the flag appeared during the Battle of Lindenus in 1219 and inspired the Danes to victory against Latvia. The flag was adopted at some point during the next 100 years. Whilst it's not the oldest flag ever to have existed, it holds the Guinness World Record for being the oldest continuously used national flag. Even older than the flag is the Danish monarchy. Since Gorm the Old started things off in 935, the monarchy has continued right through to today. Originally an elective monarchy, it became hereditary in the 17th century and then in the 19th century was converted to a constitutional monarchy. The current monarch is Queen Magrith II, the first female monarch since her namesake Margrethe I died in 1412 during the Kalmar Union. Outside the cities, Scandinavia has a reputation as being a vast open space with mountains, fjords, and lakes. Not so with Denmark. Our Danish friends live in a relatively small place. At just a shade larger than the Netherlands and Switzerland, it ranks 130th in the world. In U.S. terms, that's somewhere between Maryland and West Virginia in size. However, the Kingdom of Denmark has islands, and lots of them. In total, Denmark has 443 islands, 70 of which are inhabited. One of those islands is Greenland, the largest non-continental island on the planet. Greenland is an autonomous territory of Denmark. The mother country retains control of foreign affairs and defense, but most other decisions have been devolved to a Greenlandic government. The island shot to world fame last year when Donald Trump inquired about the possibility to buy the island from Denmark. So while Denmark itself is small, its total territory is much bigger. Adding it all up brings them rocketing up to 12th biggest in the world, nestled between DR Congo and Saudi Arabia. Many people visiting Scandinavia are shocked by how much things cost. Denmark's sales tax of 25% is one of the highest in the world. Denmark also has one of the highest rates of income tax in the world with Danes paying as much as 45% of their income to the government. Surprisingly though, in surveys 90% of Danes are happy with the level of taxation. Denmark is currently second in the UN's World Happiness Report, just behind Finland. All education is free and both the education and healthcare systems are renowned throughout the globe. So maybe paying higher taxes isn't as bad as people in lower tax countries might think. Most people know the joy that comes from opening a box of pieces and ending up with a finished model an hour or two later. Lego is probably Denmark's best known export, especially among children. The Lego company was invented in 1932 in the small town of Billund by carpenter old Kirk Christensen. The name comes from Ligot, which means play well. The company's initial products were wooden toys. It wasn't until 1947 that they introduced the iconic interlocking plastic bricks that we all know and love. Since then, the company has grown to a multi-billion dollar business, including theme parks and clothing. Perhaps most amazingly, the earliest bricks will still fit together with the ones made today. Danes love cycling and there are more bicycles in the country than people. Part of the reason for this is that the country is relatively flat. The highest point in the country is a mere hill of 170M called Malahoj. Another reason is that new cars are heavily taxed to discourage them. The investment in infrastructure has made cycling safe and easy for both recreation and transportation. Unlike some countries, there are no laws to prevent children from consuming alcohol. There are laws in place to stop purchases that vary the age based on the strength. Beer can be bought at 16, but you'll have to be 18 to buy spirits. 
This doesn't mean that kids are on the streets getting drunk. Instead, the permissive culture leads to a more relaxed attitude to alcohol. In terms of what they drink, the Carlsberg Brewery has been providing Denmark and the world with beer for over 150 years. The lesser-known Tubord Brewery, now owned by Carlsberg, produces a seasonal ale every year. Akvavit, meanwhile, is a spirit flavored with herbs such as dill that has been produced in Scandinavia for hundreds of years. One area that might be considered odd to most people is the naming of children. The government keeps a list of 7,000 names that are pre-approved for babies' names. So, you'll never meet a Danish Chardonnay or Gaga. One bizarre law is about burning flags. It's only illegal to burn foreign flags. Danish flags can be burnt to your heart's content. Denmark is among the nations that are leading the world in progressive policies. In 1969, Denmark was the first country in the world to legalize pornography and it can be found everywhere, including on TV. The Danes have a healthy, liberal attitude to sex. They were also the first nation in the world to legalize same-sex unions. This came in 1989 and since then 28 other countries have followed suit. Opinion polls in Denmark show support among the public is at 86%. Forest preschools account for 10% of all Danish preschools. These schools are located in woodland settings and give the students an opportunity to establish a connection with nature while attending to their regular lessons. Even larger cities like Copenhagen have these countryside learning opportunities. Danes are very aware of the beautiful environment they inhabit and are doing a lot to keep it that way. New laws and programs are in place which have already reduced the amount of pollution in their rivers and waterways. Copenhagen has a master plan which will make it carbon neutral by 2025. The rest of the country hopes to reach that goal by 2050. One of the world's major fishing countries, Denmark is currently undergoing an aquaculture crisis due to overfishing. They still rank fifth in the world among fish exporting nations. Limits have recently been placed on specific species in order for the industry to remain sustainable. If you like my video, you can subscribe and like.